Hey, it's the old man here, and my lady. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Got some fresh straw. Got the good furniture out. No sunshine, but we'll have a story today. What do you think, lady? What do you think? Let's see if she likes French bread. There we go. She didn't like Wonder Bread. <laughs> she must be a French goose. Here, you can have that down there. So, Merry Christmas to all. Um, hope everyone had a good time. Uh, thank you for all the thumbs up and the comments. I appreciate those a lot. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, you know, <laughs> she just dunked that bread into the pond there. Hmm. A little soup, I guess. So I was thinking, people must wonder, where do you come up with these subjects? I'll tell you a story about it. Uh, water beds. Um, they were popular back in the 70s and 80s. I laid on a couple of them. I never slept in one. Uh, seemed, I didn't enjoy it. It was hard at 25 years old to get out of there because you get over the edge and sit down and it's wave action and all this stuff. I've heard more than a few people that laid down on them and got the spins and ended up throwing up. <laughs> so yeah, they uh, some people liked them, some didn't. You could get heaters on them. You could get all this stuff, fancy stuff. So what I've been doing lately and what I like to do a lot is watch cop shows. Um, Hawaii Five O, uh, New and Old, um, Adam Twelve, Dragnet. The newer Dragnets in the '70s, we always thought they were kind of hokey because it was just not realistic in a lot of what they said. But the old black and white Dragnets on YouTube, there must be 50 of them. I've watched all of them. <coughs> And yeah, Joe Friday and Frank were cool in the black and white shows. What do you think? You want some more? And what I just found lately, though, is on YouTube, there's 308 Dragnet radio shows. They're cool. I uh, thoroughly enjoy listening to those. Um, good stories. Good stories storytelling I enjoy it at all I enjoyed it all um, so the ads they had on these old shows um, Fatima cigarettes which are long gone they were like Paul Mall straights and that went to Chesterfield king size and long straights in fact uh, Jake Elwood black pack at Chesterfield straights out his ID when he met the Good old boys. Next time you watch that show, you'll notice that it's there. Um, so yeah, I got these cigarette commercials, and I'm listening to one of the shows. And there's a cigarette commercial in the beginning, and there's one at the end. And uh, lady, I wish you could see her. Um, yeah, at the end of the show, they had a commercial for water beds. Um, Waterbed Warehouse, Toronto, Canada. How it ever ended up on that show, I don't know. So I left a comment and I said, um, "This is I love these shows and uh, the outdated commercials. <laughs> One for cigarettes and the other for waterbeds. Here's that girl. That's my lady. So yeah, it got to me thinking about waterbeds. And I'll tell you a story about it. Um, right out of high school, there was some girls that had rented a house down in South Park. Uh, south of South Park, up on the hill, overlooking downtown South Park. And um, so they're having a party, and kids are carrying on like kids do at that age. And it was a three-story house. The basement was a um, rental, and then they had the upstairs middle floor and then the upstairs was there and a big front room had a nice big tapestry rug on the floor had the killer Gerard turntable off to the side stereo with speaker boxes this high um, 
probably hot as a two-bit pistol, but we didn't care back then. Um, so we're sitting there carrying on like kids do and might be listening to the Grand Funk Railroad or even Alice Cooper. I'll tell you a story about Alice Cooper someday. Remind me about it. Um, yeah, so we're sitting there, stereo's full blast, everyone's cranking it out and carrying on like kids do, and all of a sudden, boom, the whole house shook. And we're like, what the heck? And we look up at the ceiling, and here's a 10-foot crack about a half inch, three quarters of an inch long. And the girl looks up and she goes, the water bed. Ah! So this guy, Steve, um, he's, he died 20 years ago. Rest in peace, Steve. Um, quick thinking, we stormed up the stairs, probably two steps at a time. And here in the center of the upstairs, well, first we see a garden hose coming through the window to a king-size waterbed right in the center of the floor, in the center of that room. Steve, quick thinker, pulls out his pocket knife, lanced it from corner to corner, and now we got about 400 gallons of water going down the stairs, hit a sharp right down the stairs, and then took a right into the front room and just made a mess. He talked that, took that cart tapestry and flipped it over, and the stereo got soaking wet, knocked the arm off the record, the speakers kicked over, kicked over. Um, water into the basement apartment kids you know she probably wasn't thinking twice about it i just fill it up no big deal um yeah that's how they got to meet the new neighbors <laughs> and you know it was summertime so it all worked out good we took the tapestry out and hung it on the fence to dry um, i don't know what happened to the speakers but the people downstairs were all cool with it, it it leaked into the be bedroom. You know, it could have been a lot worse. If that thing would have broke through and then hit the second floor, it probably would have gone right to the basement. But you live and you learn, and you learn that there are, I believe, angels around because that could have been slaughter. That was terrible. And the funny part of it, when it was all said and done, I looked up at the ceiling. You couldn't tell anything had happened. It had gone right back to where it was. Um, so yeah, if you ever hear the waterbed talk, you can think, well, the old man told me a story about that. Yeah, they weren't comfortable at all. I uh, had a relative, he had one, it was heated. And he thought it was pretty cool, but I've heard stories about this one girl. Her mom had a waterbed, and um, she would hop in bed with mom and, and maybe Saturday morning or something like that had to lay ultra still because if you sat down or plopped on it all it would start a wave action that took a few minutes to settle down so she said she crawled in there just as quietly and softly as she could because she didn't want to wake everybody up because that's what would happen so come here lady you want some more bread huh? come here She's doing good, enjoying this rain. Here. Damn kids. Damn kids. They don't know what they're good for. Here. There you go. So, uh, everyone have a happy new year. Don't get too carried away. Um, as a non-drinker, it's uh, kind of an anti-climatic night. I usually, yeah. And I'm not in bed by midnight, but I'm certainly out, out ripping it up like a, I once did 45 years ago. Just be careful. It's always the night to get carried away and um, just be careful. Lady. So... Here's to a good new year, new a good new year. Yeah, I spit it out right. You guys take care. Happy trails. You be good.